Hello guys, today we're gonna talk about how to migrate the cloud formation project to AWS CDK. So this is the today topic, so migrating cloud formation project to CDK. So I will just gonna show you the few steps. So make sure you have CLI is configured, your account is bootstrap, and you create this directory like cf migration so that's the directory we're going to create and just to move to that directory and then create a cloud formation project in the step four so in the cloud formation project what we're going to do is we're going to make s3 and a dynamodb table and then we're going to deploy this cloud formation project using this command so aws cloud formation deploy so this is a cli command so let's go and see all these five steps first. So I will start with going in the CF migration directory. So if you go and see here, so in my AWS CDK directory, we have CF migration directory. So which was requested in step number three here. And then we have created a cloud formation project so i'm going to show you this one yeah so in this like i have created a cdk s3 bucket uh, sorry s3 bucket and this is the bucket so migration bucket and the name i have given is the same as the resource logical resource id so it's bucket name is my migration bucket so then i have created a dynamodb table and this one name is ddd b table and this is like partition key we have given over here and the billing mode so it's paper request so the billing mode meaning is like okay whatever number of request is gonna come so you have to pay based on the number of read and writes in that on the DynamoDB table. So this is the more simplest and minimal definition for a S3 and a DynamoDB table in a cloud formation template. So you can do this in YML also, but I'm using JSON over here. So now if I go to the my CDK project, so I will go in that about directory so cloud formation migration directory so this is my directory I'm gonna show you here so we're gonna deploy this migration template first so what command we can use here I have used here so cloud formation deploy command we're gonna use so this is referring the template file my template file migration template.json and I'm giving the stack stack name is CF stack and you have to specify the region also so once you enter this command so it's gonna deploy so now we will go to the cloud formation screen so you can see that CF stack is already in the progress and it's going to create a S DynamoDB table. So we, yeah, you can see this DynamoDB table is created. And this migration bucket is also created. So now all these five steps are completed until five. So now we're going to go to the step number six. So in the step number six, we're going to create a like CDK migration folder here so this is the folder which I have created already and create a CDK project inside that so CDK project you have to create inside that and if you don't know how to create a CDK project please refer my previous video in this course and now use step number seven use the cloud formation template in CDK pro project using cloud formation include so this is I'm gonna show you how I have done So if you will go to cloud formation cdk migration stack so 
you can see in this so this module we are using cdk lib cloud formation include so i have imported it as a here and this is how i am referring that migration template road json so which file is present here migration road template so using this now from the template you can get all all the resource whichever you want to modify so this is the cfn bucket and so what i now all the modification in your stack will be done in the cdk project you don't need to go back and change the things in your cloud formation template so first thing what we are gonna do with this cloud formation uh, project so cloud formation template sorry so we are going to block the public access of that s3 bucket so if you will go and see here so this is my bucket and if you look at the properties of it so public access public access is not blocked for this so this is the code change we have done then i'm going to enable the versioning so if you will see versioning is also not enabled on this bucket so you can see this is the disable so this is the one more change we have done in our cdk project so these are the two main thing and if i go in this cdk migration so in the bin directory so this is where our app is there and our stack is there so what third change i have done so in that stack so i am adding just for s3 bucket i am adding this stack so if you so what i have shown you so we have done three changes one reading the cloud formation project so one is like stat this new tags we have added and then we block the public access and then we have enabled the versioning on s3 bucket <clears throat> so similarly what we have done for dynamo db table so we have enabled like point in time recovery so this is more for the backup so we have enabled this so if you go and see and have a look at dynamo db table So in the backups so this is not enabled at the moment so once we're gonna deploy that cdk project it's going to be enabled over here so that's the one change we have done then next is time to leave specification so this one is like behind the scene if you want to delete records in your dynamo db table so that time we have we can use this capability of time to leave so you can see this is still also disabled at the moment here so and like few tags also for dynamo db table we have added here so this is dynamo db and then this is dynamo db table so this is the key value there we can use in the dynamo db stack so you can see there is no tags at the moment so now if i'm going to deploy it so all these changes is going to take place so one important thing you have to remember so this stack name so what stack name like cf stack what i have given here it should be same as what is there in the cloud formation stack so this name this stack name we have used in the cloud formation template and same name we have to use in this cdk project also if you will change the name then it's going to consider it as a different stack and it's going to create one more stack so make sure you keep that same stack name because we just want to update it now our cloud formation project is updated to cdk and from now onwards here we just want to update the stack so we want to run the cdk deploy command now and you will see all these changes okay sorry so we have to go to the cdk application so this is I'm um, going there. Sorry. And now we're gonna do the CDK deploy. So now like we have to just monitor this stack. So it should start appearing like update is in progress. So we're gonna just wait over here. 
now it started deploying here it should start saying like update yeah so we can see now update is in progress we have to wait for that meanwhile i can show you a few commands also until the update is complete so this is the few commands so like we are on the step number 10 10 now and after that we can use this command like delete cf stack so if you want to delete the stack so you can run this command and if you want to see like what events are happening in your creating your cdk project or cloud formation so you can use this especially for the cloud formation project so you can use this command so which can even for cdk and cloud formation sorry so this command can be used to see what's happening in the event stack so this one will be more useful so if you don't have a console access console access is this one and if you don't have access of this and you want to see what is happening then you can run that command okay so our stack is completed so let me see yeah and these two third and fourth item is more for like these are the reference items so you can go through this documentation so this is a like it was documentation and this is one of the blog like how to migrate but this migration blog is very simple just showing s3 basic stuff but the my one which i have created it's more advanced so i have tried to add like dynamodb table and shown you like how to update three more property for each of them aws service so now if you will go and see let's start okay what changes happen in the dynamodb table so first change if i will see so for dynamo db table so you can see here so we have to make sure pitr is enabled now so pitr is in the backup so yes you can see it's on and now next is we have to ttl time to list specification is active so if you can see here time to live so let's refresh the page it's showing time to live yes you can see it's enabled and now third item are the tag so stack type the best dynamo db exclusive is exclusive value one so these are the tags we have applied here so congratulations now our technique of up migrating cloud formation template and working from there onwards in cdk is working successfully so this is the tag we have applied so same thing we're going to validate for s3 bucket so in s3 bucket what are the code changes so first thing we have to verify okay our pu public access is blocked so i'm gonna go here and yes so you can see earlier it was off now it's on and then next thing what change I, we have done so we have enabled the versioning so we should be able to see that versioning is enabled yeah so this is enabled so it was not enabled in cloud formation template in cdk it is enabled and what else we want to see like tags so you can see these are the tags so this is same thing we have applied over here for s3 bucket yeah so this is how you can see like how to add new tags on cloud formation template and we have shown you like how to modify the or add new properties in your cloud formation project once you migrate them to cdk so you can do everything in the cdk so you no need to work on your cloud formation project uh, once they are migrated into the CDK. Thank you so much. I hope this might be very useful for you. Thanks for watching the video.